Reservation Dogs, creator Sterling Harjo, and actors Defaro Wulatai, Jeffrey Jacobs, Paulina Alexis, and Lane Factor. Hinche <clears throat> Stungo. We are here on television's biggest night as creators and actors, proud to be indigenous people working in Hollywood. Rep <laughs> representing the first people to walk upon this continent. And, we're ha <laughs> and we are really happy to be here. Thankfully, networks and streamers are now, now, beginning to produce and develop shows created by and starring indigenous people. It's a good start which can lead us to the day when telling stories from underserved communities will be the norm, not the exception. <laughs> because like life, TV is at its best when we all have a voice. Here are the nominees for directing for a limited or anthology series or movie. Thomas Kale, Hamilton. Sam Miller, Michaela Cole, I May Destroy You, Ego Death. Sam Miller, I May Destroy You, Eyes, 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 Eyes. Craig Zobel, Mayor of Easttown. Scott Frank, The Queen's Gambit. Barry Jenkins, The Underground Railroad. Matt Shackman, WandaVision. And the, <clears throat> and the Emmy for directing for a limited or anthology series or movie goes to I think this is when I open it. Scott, Scott Frank, Frank. <laughs> Queen's Gambit. this. Um, thank you very much. Um, I accept this on behalf of my friends at Netflix, Bill Horberg and Alan Scott, my fellow producers, and the 200 or so artists of all stripes from all over the world who basically co-created our show about a girl addicted to chess alcohol, pills, and um, wallpaper. Um, as we all know, a film crew is a, is a family born out of a shotgun wedding, and it was an honor to be included in this family. Um, I wish I could stand up here and mention every single one of you, but I'd need a lot more time, and that's why God created IMDb. Um, as, as for my other family, the people who at the end of the day actually have to live with me, thank you for always challenging me to be a better person. Truly, it's a low bar. Um, and Jennifer, your support has been nothing short of heroic. Really? No. Um, I'm also grateful to the incredible array of actors, none of whom really needed much help from me, and all of whom, seriously, stop the music all of whom were somehow made what I'd written believable. Of course, I was also rather fortunate to have my friend Mari Heller embedded on the set to backseat direct in between giving me her own gorgeous performance. And I don't think I'll ever forget Bill Camp teaching the young gifted Isla Johnston how an actor, even while sitting still in a chair for every scene, can deliver a moving and powerful performance. Bill, you're a national treasure. Um, I think it's also important to note that this was Moses Ingram's first professional film role, her first time on a movie set. This was her first time on a movie set, and I have to say, you could have fooled me. Thomas, Harry, Jacob, Rebecca, Sammy, Christian, Patrick, Marchin, Sophie, John, our entire cast, I salute every one of you and for trusting 
that I knew I was doing despite the frequent e evidence to the contrary. I'm almost done. Finally, Anya, my dearest Anya, beyond your performance, which regardless of awards or attention was more than I ever could have hoped for or even deserved, you said in a lovely tone, that's a lot of pressure and no easy feat, particularly if you're playing someone who's not always so chipper or sober. Even more so if you're front and center in nearly every shot. Add to that having to memorize endless strings of chess moves as well as your lines, having to change your character age and look sometimes three or four times a day, throw in Iron Maiden-like wigs, a death in the family in the midst of filming, and you've got the perfect conditions for a nervous breakdown. I'm pretty sure I had one for you. And yet somehow the aptly named you would show up full of joy, many days singing, occasionally dancing, and always ready to work. And when you have only sight and sound to tell your story, it helps if you have an actor you can never take your eyes off of. Or in this case, an actor whose eyes never stop looking at you. So thank you very much. I'm forever grateful for this award. Thank you.